start, I'd be just kind of interested in maybe uh, you could kind of briefly give a little background on yourself, how you, you know, how you got to the point where you made the decision that you were going to become a professional drummer. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, well, that all, uh, well, I, uh, well, I, I, that started back when I was going to high school. I went to you know, I went to uh, Blue Harbor High School in uh, back in the early forties, and one of my uh, friends was uh, Johnny Griffin mm-hmm. and uh, Eugene Wright, the bass player from the Brubeck Quartet. Yeah, same guy, huh? Yeah. Wow. We all was with the school, same time. Mm-hmm. And uh, well, at that time, I was uh, I started playing trombone. But I come on with with my cup of tea, so I switched over and uh, switched over from trombone to drum, mm-hmm. and then that uh, it and it really caught on. And during my early life, much before that, you know, I, I grew up around nothing but music. Mm-hmm. In the early thirties, I used to go to the Vendum and the Regal Theater mm-hmm. and the Metropolitan and places like that. When I was a kid, and I saw some of the the best and the best of the big uh, big black band. Mm-hmm. See, they used to come to Chicago all the time, and I used to, I saw uh, uh, Chick Webb, and I saw Gene Cooper. And uh, then when I was going to high school, I was uh, uh, really getting interested in it. I used to go to the Regal Theater and see Cab Calloway and the big band. Uh, and um, Cozy Cole, Cole all, all of the big groups. Yeah. Billy H. Stad and his big band, and that really turned me off. And that was when Blakey was playing with him? Oh, yeah. yeah. Hot Blakey, and he had all the big groups there. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, listening to, listening to them, it, it, it really uh, enthused me, you know, really got me, got me interested in it. And then I was playing in the band, too, so I really took much more interest in it. 